Hey everyone, welcome back to Colorful Indian. I hope that you've had a wonderful week. Today I'm going to be going into two more tutorials using the Ghost Town palette by Nomad Cosmetics. It is coming out on Tuesday 29th and it is available for $49. So if you are planning to pick it up, I do have a code and you can use that if you don't use it and you want to support someone else, that's also fine. So anyway, what I wanted to do today was create two looks um, based on a game that I really love. You would have probably seen this in my previous video. So I play Red Dead Redemption 2 a lot and that is, you know, a Wild West game and I absolutely love it. But something that I like about the game is the amount of symbolism that there is in it. So they have like a high honor versus low honor kind of thing going on and the color white is associated with purity. The color black is associated with evil and uh, basically the low honor, you know, version of your character. So anyway, I thought that it would be really fun to create two looks based on like high honor and low honor. I am going to be, I do have a bit of an outfit as well. I'm pretty excited to see what I'm going to be creating with this because even in Red Dead Redemption 2, they actually have makeup for your female characters. Before we begin the tutorials, if you're new here, my name is Ranita. I like to do makeup tutorials, reviews, swatches, all kinds of things related to makeup and I'm also delving a little bit into lifestyle. So if any of this actually speaks to you and you feel like you'd like to subscribe, I would love to see more of you here. And uh, yeah, without further further ado, we're going to get into those two tutorials. Before we actually begin, I wanted to show you what my character looks like in Red Dead Redemption. So this is for the high honor looks, obviously. So over here, she's wearing this really, really pretty green eyeshadow. And then you can see she's got blush and she's also got, you know, um, her lipstick. It also kind of looks a bit reddish. So I'm going to try and recreate this, but I'll obviously have changes because I know that the palette doesn't, you know, have all of these exact shades. And then I thought I may go in with something like this from the two-toned wing section. It's kind of like gray with black, but I think it looks really, really pretty. So I may just recreate that one as well. So yeah, let's see, you know, what we actually end up creating because there's, there's honestly so many pretty looks that you could go for with this. Um, and I really, really like the fact that we get to kind of customize our characters in Red Dead Redemption as well. So, so far I've kind of been going with this, the heavy wing. It's like a black wing and then it's got green eyeshadow everywhere. And I really like that. I, f I just love the color green. So let's begin with this one. I'm going to be going in with Stagecoach Mary, which is, um, you know, I think the only green that would probably work for this in the Ghost Town palette. I think that the green in that my character actually has is a bit brighter than this, so I may actually follow up with Ghost Town as well. I'm just gonna get that green all over my eye and into that winged kind of shape. I think I'm gonna follow up with the Ghost Train shade. Sorry, I mean the Ghost Town shade, <laughs> which is the other green just above this one. You can see this is a really, really pigmented green I think that I will be going over my eye, by the way, with a shimmer, simply because I just want that brighter pop of green, and I think I can achieve that with the Calico California shade. So this can just be my base in a sense. So this is what my eyes are looking like at the moment. We do need to go and actually do that, you know, black wing that she's done. Um, so I'm going to probably be using Arrested Decay for that. And I'm going to... I think that first I'm going to do the shimmer though. Yeah, let's do the shimmer first and then I'll go over that with Arrested Decay and kind of just give myself a slight black wing over there. So I am grabbing some of that Cali California shade and... I'm going to start dabbing that over here. This is a little wet, so it's a bit difficult to get the shades on, but once you've actually covered all of that up, it'll be fine. So I'm just taking it slightly higher than I did with all the other looks, because I want this to kind of blend with the matte shade too, since the look that I showed you in the game is actually very, very bright. It's a very, very bright kind of green, so obviously, um, the only green in this palette that's really bright is this one and that's why I need to just do what I'm doing right now which is just I don't really want it to be super saturated but I do kind of want a bit of the shimmer on those matte shades just to kind of 
make it look like it's transitioning really nicely, you know? But not the whole eye is a shimmer, yeah. So I think that's exactly what I'm going for. I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye, which will be easier since the base has already dried up pretty fast. And I'm going to be going over all of this with um, the Arrested Decay shade pretty satisfied with the way that this is looking it's not super saturated it just kind of looks like it's you know gently blending in there so now we're going to go in with the rest of DK which is obviously the deepest shade in the palette I've already got some on my brush over here and we're going to kind of give it that smoky kind of black wing that my character has in the game I think it should be fairly easy to kind of build this up because you can work with this even if it's a shimmer. I don't think it needs to be super deep though because I could just go over that with a eyeliner as well if this doesn't turn out the way I want it to. In the game, my character's green eyeshadow goes around here in this area as well, so I will be looking. doing that. This is what my face is looking like so far. The only things that I've gone and done really are add on a eye pencil. So this is a 79 cents eyeliner from Temu. Really, really pigmented and you can see what that looks like. I did kind of use a little bit of eyeshadow from the palette. I lined it just halfway and then I went over it with this pencil. So, uh, and then of course I used Yensa Beauty. Always, I always go in for this, like for my foundation. It's not done yet though. I have to go and like set everything, but I wanted to do the blush with you. So I'm going in with the um, Besame Blush Palette by It's Belle uh, Cosmetics. I really do love this blush palette. It's very, very versatile. So I kind of feel like that shade would look really, really nice and would remind me the most of what my character kind of had on her skin. So we're going to go in with that. This is a very, very pigmented blusher. So I'm going to have to be a bit careful with how much I actually get onto my skin because, yeah, you can see that color just coming right through already. It's very, very pigmented. So I'm just kind of bringing it down a bit because my character also had her her blush kind of coming over here. So I'm just doing this. And I think that's about enough. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Yeah, so you can see how pigmented this is and what it looks like. It's a really lovely blusher, so I, I would highly suggest getting this if you just want like one, you know, blush palette, because you have six colors here. You can mix, match, have as much fun as you want with it. I really like the way that it works on my skin. I feel like it gives it that natural kind of flush, and it's visible, which I really, really like. Okay, so now for the lipstick, I'm going to be going in with two shades from Odin's Eye, because I was looking at some of my previous looks, and I realized that that shade was kind of what my character had, so I'm going to be using two shades. I'm going to use Love Jasmine and Tulipa Kiss to get this. So that's the first shade. I did have a bit of a lip balm on my mouth before I did this, but that's fine. This is Love Jasmine. I'm now going in with the next shade, which is um, Tulipa Kiss. It's definitely a deeper shade, so I'm going to have to be careful how much I let onto my mouth. Okay, so I kind of think that this looks like it a bit. I'm going to add a bit more of Love Jasmine because I kind of feel like this color is a bit too brown. I think I'm going to keep it at this. I think this this shade is the, the shade that I think I'm going for at the moment. Hello, I just wanted to show you what it's looking like. So I actually went over the, um, the brown eyeshadow with a gorgeous black eyeliner. And I'm just kind of going over that now again with the Arrested Decay shade because I want to make this look kind of smoky. It's a smoky wing. And uh, I'm just kind of deepening what I've already put there. But I really, really love the way that this has worked. Like, I love this look. I'm really happy with how it's looking. I feel like it definitely looks exactly like what my character in Red Dead Redemption looks like. So I'm so excited. I think maybe the lipstick could be a tad more red. But I don't think that I have 
a good enough red shade to actually achieve that red so I'm gonna try adding one more shade to it to kind of try and achieve slightly more red and then you know yeah that's gonna be like the final look but uh, yeah this is what the eyes are looking like at the moment so for my black eyeliner I went in with a Kulfi Beauty um, <clears throat> liner it's a really nice one honestly any black liner should do but I like using Kulfi Beauty um, I don't use this all the time by the way I use this when I need to be precise because it's got a thinner tip right and you can just kind of go in there and kind of line those inner corners without irritating your eye too much and that for me is a big deal because usually if you're using some kind of liner that makes your eyes water or whatever then that's going to be a problem so that's why I actually like using the Kulfi Beauty um, liners it's really nice hey everyone okay. so this is the final look and i essentially went in with a gorgeous white corset that i found from amazon i felt like this corset matched my character in red dead redemption perfectly and when i saw it i just had to get it so if you actually see my character on the screen you know she kind of has what they call the molina blouse in the game and then she's wearing a corset this corset is just you know like it has the sleeves and everything but obviously I couldn't get something like this um, outside I was looking for a blouse that I could have you know worn inside and everything and then I came across this and I thought well this looks exactly like what my character wears in Red Dead Redemption 2 so I'm gonna just buy it and get it done so yeah this is essentially the makeup that I think my character would wear um, you know in the game and I'm really really happy with it I think I only need to tell you what I did with my lipstick so basically I went in with the shade spice it up as you can see spice it up is kind of like a it's kind of like a red it's like a reddish kind of brown if you see that this is what it looks like on my skin tone um, so the thing is I was trying to kind of achieve the you know shade that my character was wearing in the game and I just wasn't really getting that from just the Odin's eye lipsticks that I tried on just now so I decided to add this one in and I think that this one made it very very similar to what my character is wearing. I do wish I had like a cowboy hat and everything but honestly I don't but if I did I would be wearing exactly what my character is wearing which is like a white cowboy hat and you know <clears throat> the white jeans and the gun belt and everything I would totally do that and I would walk around and be so happy with that outfit. For the finishing touches I always go in with my Woosh Beauty palette. Now this palette is awesome and I highly recommend it to anybody really who just wants to do a lot of makeup in a short period of time. It is just fantastic. I love using this palette so I have been dipping into my blenders a lot lately because I feel like blenders are amazing to restore my skin color back to the color it, you know that it normally is especially when I'm using my P. Louise base which makes everything white so I use this color over here and then I just buff out that white with the blender and I kind of feel like it softens the look in a sense and I really like that and then of course I use my contours over here these are also two of my favorite products this one and that one this one the white one I use under my eye this one I use you know just right at the top of my cheeks so this look I didn't do that because I didn't feel like I needed contouring since my character does not actually have like I don't feel she has contouring like in the game so I kind of just used the blush because I wanted to highlight things that were most obvious like the blush the lipstick and the eyes so yeah this is that look I'm really really happy with the look let me know what you think about it and you know whether you have ever thought about doing makeup on, based on your Red Dead Redemption 2 characters because I'm really really excited about this so yeah we have one more look to go let's get right into that. Hey everyone, welcome to the next tutorial. So I'm going in with this first. This is the base shade from my Woosh Beauty Face Palette and I'm going to be applying that all over my eyes. So as you can see, it's making the skin around my eyes. So wherever I apply it, it becomes a bit fairer, which is exactly what I need. Taking it out a little bit. The first thing that I want to do is obviously get that shape. So I'm going to start with this first. I went in again with the same shade because this is the closest to black that I have in the Ghost Town palette. And then I think I'm going to have to cut a crease um, to do the rest of it. So we're just going to start with a basic shape for now. I think that that should do it. I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye and then we're going to go in and cut the crease. Okay, so I just went in with my Multi Tosca Mixing Medium by NYX Cosmetics and uh, you can see that I've kind of gotten like a basic shape over there. I, I need to go in now with the silvery shades, you know, that I really like. So I'm looking at the look right now and she's kind of got like this black shape and I think it's going downwards more for her. I'm gonna have to see how that goes. I think I may actually change the shape of this a little bit, but we are going to fill in 
this with like silvery shades so I'm actually going in I think with quicksilver and smoky quartz we're gonna use those two to kind of fill it in and then I'll see what to do next from there so I've already as you know applied my base so I just need to get the silver shade now on and this obviously has to go like really really high because um, from the look she's got it kind of like in the middle so I'm gonna do half of my eye with quicksilver and the other half of my eye with smoky quartz just to kind of um, feature more shades so yeah that's looking nice I'm gonna do the other eye now so this time I'm not using my Louise base obviously so you can see that the shades are just going to kind of look how they would if you would apply them to you know tan kind of skin tone with a little bit of base i mean i'm looking at what the character has and it doesn't look like a super super precise look so i just want to kind of get as close as possible as i can to what she has I, you know what i think i'm gonna do smoky quartz in the center i'm gonna do it right here and then I'm going to finish up again with Quicksilver because I kind of feel like Quicksilver is just so bright and I really like that bright color. I think that this is kind of going the way that I want it to. I think I need a little bit more shimmer here that you can see. And I'm going to take this same way that I did the other look and I'm just going to um, connect it over here. But it also needs to have a bit of a lino effect going on here because we, we, you can see from that look that it's kind of like that. This is not going to be obviously like an exact version of like what you can see, but I am trying. Okay, so I think that this is kind of what I'm settling for at the moment. Not exactly what the character obviously has on her face, but I think that I'm kind of going to jazz it up a bit with a few rhinestones. Okay, so this is what my eyes are looking like. I just went in with the rhinestones on either side, and now I'm going to be applying the e.l.f. Uh, Mineral Infused Face Primer all over my face, uh, just to kind of give my face a really smooth finish before I go in with my foundation. I didn't use this for the previous look. But I do feel like this does make a big difference to the way the foundation glides over the skin. And it also gives your skin like a very smooth appearance because it's filling in like all the cracks. So if you ever get a chance to actually use this primal, I would highly suggest it. It's a really, really good product. It's inexpensive as well. Here we are uh, going in with Yensa now. I'm using only my fingers, so I'm taking about this much foundation and I'm just adding it to like all the places I think need a bit of coverage. But yeah, this is generally how I do my foundation at home. Um, I don't like using sponges all the time, mostly because it just takes so long to clean them up. So most of the time when I'm doing my foundation, I like to just use my fingers. It's a lot faster and I'm just able to apply, you know, exactly what I want where I want. And then I'm done and I get to just, you know, go on to the next step. And you can see how quickly I'm actually doing this. The Yensa foundation is really nice. I feel like it works beautifully with the skin. And it really is like one of my favorite foundations at the moment. And it's got Bacchiel, uh, which is really, really amazing for the skin. This is, you know, one of my skincare makeup brands that I love going, that I love using. So here I'm just going to add a teeny weeny bit to the forehead area, but not too much. Because generally I've stopped really applying foundation to my forehead. I don't really need to, but I just, I took a bit too much of foundation just now, so... Foundation done. Okay, so now what are we going to do? I'm going to start using my black eyeliner again to kind of give myself a smoky look. So I think first I want to stick on my lashes because I use my lashes as a guide to where I want my eyeliner to be. So I'm going to be doing that. So I'm just applying some glue. This is how I apply glue to my lashes. 
um, I put it on the entire band and then I kind of wait until it gets um, dry and then just before it's fully dry I take them and I apply them to my eyes because I find that's easier if I do it when the glue is actually wet um, what happens is that if I apply them to the wrong area my lashes will end up putting glue everywhere and you know I don't I don't usually like that yeah so I think you can see how the lash has more or less kind of dried up mostly so I think that this is okay so we're just gonna I'm gonna grab this I'm using the half magic beauty um, lash applier because I feel like it doesn't poke my eye I'm genuinely afraid to use other um, tweezers because they poke my eye and oh my goodness it hurts so bad so this is kind of bent the design is bent and I really appreciate that because if it's if it's sharp then you can end up hurting yourself and I don't know why nobody thought of doing this sooner okay so I just want to show you how I did the smoky eyes so I'm just taking this black pencil I'm gently lining the eye as you can probably see, it's not very precise. And then I'm taking it upwards the same way that the eyeshadow was going upwards. And uh, that's basically that. Very, very simple. I do have to stick down that lash again because it keeps coming out. I reapplied some glue and uh, but yeah that's basically how I did my eyeliner to kind of give it a more smoky look and I don't I don't really want it to be too much like eyeliner mostly because it's not supposed to be like that I don't want it to be that way so I'm gonna go over that with a rest of key again just to kind of blend this out Can kind of see what that looks like right over there um, and I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other eye now I'm going to apply a little bit of I think black eyeliner underneath my eyes as well so using the same eyeliner I'm taking this and I'm going like this So you can see what I'm doing. I'm not going to be going all the way. I'm only doing this halfway. Yeah, so this will be the this will be the look essentially. So now I need to just go in with some blusher. So I think I'm gonna use the same blush palette since it's right over here. You can see all the gorgeous colors in here. I think what I'll do is going for a slightly different shade this time I think I'll try which one have I not really tried I'm gonna try this one right over here and I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of that onto my cheeks very very bright pink so I have to be a bit careful how much pigment I actually want on my face so I think just one yeah that is seriously seriously um, pigmented as you can see so I'm just gonna blend that upwards um and now we need to just do lipstick okay so for my lips i'm gonna go in with this shade by ofra i think that this looks really pretty i really like that shade i feel like it doesn't take away from the drama of the eyes over there so okay and I think should I go over this with a lip gloss I don't know I think I'll just stay like this so last makeup detail actually I've decided to go in with a gloss I just couldn't resist this is from sweet street it is the shade comet right over there it's a very very nice pink different pink but I like the formula. Hey everyone, so I'm just adding on the final touches to my look and that is the um, powder from the Rouge 
Beauty palette. I'm going in with my contour, so that's the white shade over here. You can actually use that to brighten up the face as well and set your makeup if you need to. So I'm just taking that white powder and I'm just setting my face. Like I said, the Woosh Beauty palette is very, very convenient. Um, the way it sets your face is just, it's amazing and I really like it. And you can see what my skin looks like even with my eye bags. Um, yeah, I didn't really sleep that well last night, so I do have eye bags today. I am happy with the look and I'm glad that I got to try this out again because now I kind of, this is my creative spin on it. I'm not doing, you know, the looks just to test out the colors anymore. I'm just doing this to have fun and this was a lot of fun. So I'm really glad that I was able to do this and, you know, kind of recreate you know the makeup that I kind of saw there obviously that makeup looks very very different to like what I'm currently wearing because I think that if I'd gone in with maybe a white shade it would have been more accurate I may redo this one day I thought this would be a really fun way to do Red Dead Redemption makeup while featuring the Ghost Town palette obviously the colors don't exactly match and everything but I'm still really happy with it so yeah this is essentially what it looks like you can see what my eyes look like um so far this there's no creasing that I'm really noticing at the moment. It seems to have just stuck on there. But again, I'm pretty sure that if I had not used my NYX Mixing Medium, it definitely, definitely would have creased. So uh, makeup details, foundation would be Yensa. I went in with Woosh Beauty. You know that for this look, I did use the e.l.f. primer before going in with my foundation. I think I kind of walked you through the entire tutorial this time, so I don't think I actually missed anything out except my ULAC. This is what I use always for my eyebrows. It's just so simple and so convenient. If you ever see me using a white base, it is always... P. Louise, like I just love P. Louise, but for this one we didn't do P. Louise, so that's fine. And I always wear skincare before I do my makeup because I just think it's important to protect your skin. It's the base, you know, for your makeup, and it's really important. So, yeah, that's basically that. This is the final look, and I am, yes, back again in my gorgeous white corset top. I would absolutely love to wear this and go out. I just really, really like it. So, honestly, wearing it with a white top, wearing this makeup with a white top really tells me that this silver is very, very gray, very steely, very metallic. Um, I couldn't really see it as much, like, until I wore the white top because previously it was just like oh, okay you know it's like very silvery and very pretty so because of the white contrast i'm able to see the actual color and maybe you will even get a better idea of what this color is actually like it's a very very pretty silver shade um, i'm just grabbing my palette so yeah you can see that they are very grungy kind of colors very metallic tones in here and i did use a bit of that as well so yeah so anyway, thank you for joining me for these two tutorials. I hope that you have fun. If you want to buy a similar corset, I will put the link, you know, to the Amazon in my review. I actually had so much fun, like, getting this corset. I was really wondering if this is you know, going to look as nice as it looked in the photos, and it really does. It's very, very pretty, very comfortable, and um, I think that it just looks really nice, especially if you're a Red Dead Redemption 2 fan and you want to kind of recreate the looks like how I want to, you'd probably like using this. So yeah, thank you for joining me. I will see you soon for another video, and until then, have a wonderful week. Bye!